Lesson 3-4, this is our exercise file. It's a photo that was taken in a, in a low light setting. There is quite a bit of digital sensor noise in it. There are two types of digital sensor noise that get introduced into images. Let me zoom in a little bit, Command Plus or Control Plus. Let's just take a look. If I were to click over here on black and white and zoom in, this variation in darks and lights or in luminance is called luminance noise. You can see some of it in the sky here. There's quite a bit of it in the snow. Let's click on black and white again and return to color. This blotchy color noise, these turquoises and purples and reds, is color noise. And in Camera Raw, you can take care of these types of noises here in the Detail panel. In the Detail panel, you have three areas here, a sharpening, a noise reduction, and a color noise reduction. And each one has a reveal triangle over here on the right side. I'm going to start with the color noise and just start sliding this slider up. And let's see what happens here. So if I click on this eye icon, I can turn that off for a minute and turn it back on. You can see that color noise has dissipated a bit. I'm going to close this section. Now let's deal with the noise reduction, which is your luminance noise. Just kind of watch what happens here as I move this. You see the difference that that has made? Camera Raw can do a great job on removing noise. Now I'm going to fit this back in the screen again. and have a look at it. When you're reducing noise, you're actually blurring the image a bit. The detail often goes away. Although I've removed a lot of the noise here, I've also removed some of the, of the sharpness. Let me zoom back in again and, and show you what I mean. Actually, it's not too bad on, on this image, but you can go ahead and, and sharpen the edges of, of things again. You don't want to overdo it. You'll get these little sharpening lines on it if you take it too far. The nice thing about this, though, is if I hold my Option or Alt key on a PC, as I click on Masking here, I can choose just which lines I want to sharpen. Take the radius down and the detail up a little bit. Let's go ahead and fit it in the image. I'm going to go ahead and click on the Auto button, which will brighten that up just a, a bit more. That's before, that's after, before, after. That's looking pretty good. I'll go ahead and open it in Photoshop. <laughs> 